Welcome tonight. Creed, thank you so much. Um, the President's obviously going to this climate summit to COP27. Um, how does he reassure leaders, given that he is anticipating um, a Republican Congress, that any new agreements that they come to will be carried out here, will be codified if need be, given that he's got to reach across the aisle? We'd say that last part, how can he assure the leaders that whatever new agreements they reach there will be carried out, will oh. be codified here, given that we are expecting that, he'll, that he will be working with Republicans? Well, I think, I mean, this is a president who has been in front of world leaders, who, have, who has traveled abroad, as you know, multiple times in the past 20 plus months of his presidency. And let's not forget, as vice president, and let's not forget, as senator. So he has. Uh, as we know, um, a lot of respect for some of these leaders. He has very close relationships with many of these leaders. Uh, he has done business, if you will, uh, and talked about really key important issues uh, over the last few years, if not decades. So I think there's a level of trust and understanding on how this works. Uh, and, you know, I, um, <clears throat> I also feel as if, I also think that we don't want to go too far, right, because we're still waiting on results. We're still waiting on what will happen with uh, with Congress, uh, both the Senate and the House. Uh, but again, it was a good night for Democrats. It was a historic night for Democrats. And like Jake said, just from here, just moments ago, the president goes into, uh, you know, goes to Asia with the wind at his back. Uh, and it's not the first time. One of the last times he went, it was the bipartisan infrastructure legislation. You know, there are wins that he, they have seen us uh, deliver on. Um, and so I think there's, there is a level of trust uh, with this particular president. I'll ask you one quickly um, on the economy. Uh, inflation not as high as, as was expected, but we are hearing about these layoffs of these major companies, Meta um, and Twitter. What is the message to American companies who are concerned that those layoffs could be a sign that the economy could be headed toward a recession? So we are aware of the layoffs at Meta and other um, other tech companies that you just laid out, Kristen. I, I don't have a comment on the moves announced by Meta today specifically, but more broadly speaking, the most recent jobs and CPI report, the one from today, suggests that the U.S. economy continues to grow, and it's also adding jobs, which is incredibly important. And Americans are begin, beginning to see a much more needed break in inflation, so that does matter if you just look at CPI. Let's not forget the GDP, where we saw the last quarter, uh, we saw the economy grow by 2.6%. Uh, all of this, all these data points matter as to how we're, how we're growing and where we're headed in an economy.